Hi, I'm Nurse Barb, and this is your daily dose on cancer risks you didn't know about. If you have a family history of breast cancer on your mom's side, chances are you know that that might pose an increased risk for yourself. Um, but what many women are surprised to learn is that other types of cancer like prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer, even colon cancer are associated with an increased risk of breast and ovarian cancer, even uterine cancer. So these genetic mutations uh, can run in families and they can cause different types of cancer in different individuals. So if you have a strong family history of one type of cancer that affects multiple people, or you have many different kinds of cancer, do talk to your healthcare provider about whether genetic testing would be appropriate. And we do genetic testing not to scare people, but to do added surveillance, maybe added blood tests uh, for prostate cancer or added imaging for breast or ovarian cancer. I know I have one patient who um, her mom uh, had breast cancer. We did genetic testing and she found out that um, she had a um, abnormal gene that posed an increased risk for her. So every year she not only has a mammogram, but she also has an MRI. Um, when it comes to other types of cancer risks that we don't know about, one thing is the sunshine. Like we go outside every single day and if we're exposed to a lot of sun, it's good for us, right? Because the sun helps our body convert vitamin D and that's an important uh, nutrient for us. But too much sunlight for some people, not everybody, but for some people can increase the risk of skin cancer. I had a squamous cell carcinoma on my arm. I had to have it removed. And now every six months, I have to go in for mold checks. I also use a ton of sunscreen and I try to keep covered up in the sun so that I don't have a recurrence of this very treatable, very curable skin cancer. But what many people aren't sure about is tanning salons. Well, tanning salons can also increase the risk of skin cancer in certain individuals. And when it comes to skin cancer, if you have any family history of melanoma, do not wait to look for an uh, abnormal um, uh, blotch of skin or an abnormal um, lump to see a dermatologist. If there's any family history of melanoma, do go in regularly to get um, checked to see if there's any kind of abnormal cells. We know that um, smoking is a carcinogen, right? We know that smoking can increase the risk of lung cancer, but what about other carcinogens in the environment? Now, I'm not trying to scare you, but I think it's important to know about what we put into our bodies and what we get exposed to. And one is plastics. And there's a specific ingredient in some plastics known as BPA or bisphosphonol A that's been shown to be a carcinogen. That means that when healthy cells are exposed to a carcinogen, it's possible that they can become abnormal and become cancerous. There are other things to be aware of. For instance, alcohol. We know that a little bit of red wine has antioxidants in it and that's very protective for our body, but too much of a good thing uh, can be harmful. In fact, high intakes of alcohol, two, three, or more servings of alcohol per day can increase the risk of esophageal cancer, of colon cancer, um, and of liver cancer. What about added weight? If we're carrying around a lot of added weight, you know there's an increased risk of hypertension and diabetes and heart disease, but having too much weight can also increase your risk of having cancer. And that's because that added weight, that added fat causes more inflammation. It can also cause your body to produce more of the hormones that can stimulate cells and lead to um, a cancer, um, a, cancer that you really don't want to deal with. Um, when it comes to all of these issues, what I talk to my patients about is working on the things you can control. So you can control 
um, how much alcohol you drink. You can control smoking. You can control, um, or you can try to eat a healthy diet with lots of protective nutrients. And the best way to do that is to increase your vegetable intake because a lot of the nutrients in vegetables are actually quite protective against carcinogens. And moderation is key. It's also important to get regular exercise. In fact, women who got at least 30 minutes of exercise six days a week, so that adds up to three hours of exercise a week, it reduces the risk of breast cancer um, by about 30%. So there's things that you can do to help reduce your risk. It means decreasing exposures to tanning salons, decreasing exposures to plastics that have BPA, and of course, if you have a strong family history, do talk to your healthcare provider about um, genetic testing. So if you found this uh, video helpful, I hope you'll click like and subscribe. And you can always go to my blog, nursebarb.com for more information. Take care and be well.